Hey man, we about to run this Yeah, y'all go in the movie, y'all go in the movie. Let me know when you good, let me know you straight, just hit my line. Can I show my love for you? Back outside, baby. And all right, man, so we're about to go in here to this movie premiere, you know what I'm saying? VIP access only. We're going to go ahead and check this thing out. <laughs> this is a movie premiere called Fear with Tip. My guy, uh, Marco, invited me. things like certain goals you, you would put it like a goal or a metric that you're trying to obtain maybe it's you know your first five thousand dollar day or your first thousand dollar day and in the digital world is extremely easy because most of the money is on the internet so your reach on the internet is so much more wider if you get on online so it's important for you to get online don't just watch me doing this stuff don't just watch all of these content creators make all this stuff but you can get online and do the exact same thing so, yeah, you get online and do the exact same thing. So, um, you know, I say sell a product, sell a service. I'm always going to tell y'all that. Start a business, so you need to get into investing. And, um, you know, whether it's when you're trying to start that product or service, most importantly, it's going to be the brand. I'm always go back to the brand. So, when you get out and you celebrate and you're doing things with your homies, doing things with your people, you know, get a nice... Get a nice outfit. Go buy you some nice clothes. Get a nice section. Get some bottles, even if you don't drink. See what it feels like to see the, the little sparkling things come out for you. Like that's, you know, you see people doing it. Go experience it. There's things like that you have to experience. And then, next stage is you travel. Is you wanna travel city to city. You know what I'm saying? Then you wanna travel country to country. You gotta experience these things. And because if you're not exposed to them, Let me hop in that moment and show you how to. Eh, eh, eh. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Not until my nigga yell me for the bag. He keep going and he's gonna go up. Hey, like, it's, it's bigger here. Like, this nigga, I don't know what he do, but he doing something. I don't know what this nigga do, but he doing shit. This is the question is what I don't do. That's it. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you
Yeah, okay, oh, okay. ready. Man, you don't know what you're doing with that thing, man. I gotta get it set up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, so a quick bar. Competence builds confidence. So the more competent you are, the more confident you are. So how do you get competent? You gotta study. You gotta train. You can't complain. Too many people talking about what they don't have, but they won't put the work in to get it. It's hard, it's hard work, it's hard work. Hey, nothing good come overnight. Nothing good come overnight. This ain't no trapping. This ain't no rapping. This ain't no capping. I mean, what'd you say, Kobe? You, you said hard work beats talent. Man, hard work beat talent every day. Hard work beat talent every day. <laughs> that nigga is in there cheesing. <laughs> Look at nigga, oh cheese. Why he cheesing like that? Fresh out the projects. All right, so we outside tonight. outside gonna go do some more networking uh running some more plays with no delays turning these contacts into contracts let's get it a lot of people coming around just being rude for no reason at all so you got to be an arrogant asshole people respect they, they remember you it's about how you make people feel so when you walking around with your, your face all scrunched up looking all right no nothing good come to you. Walk with your eyebrows up, head up, look straight, look people in the eye, people look at you and they respect you more. You never know what opportunity may come from that. Instead of you walking around with that mean mug on, you got, they got to teach you a little bit different. But uh, what we working on right now. You walk in, catch the vibes, you gotta have an apple meat plan. Enjoy the city vibes, you know what I'm saying? Come in, have some recreational, some recreational for your people, your party to come into. They understand as soon as they walk in, they immediately know it's a good vibe. It's gonna be good energy when they walk in. We have the lights and the LEDs. People know like, okay, cool, I'm coming into some good energy right now. People walk in and feel super comfortable. When you have a nice crib, you have a nice spot, they walk in and they're like, Ready to buy. Hey Google, turn the volume down to zero percent. All right. So as I was saying, you walk in, you get some good vibes. You know what I'm saying? You walk in, and uh, the LEDs they set a mood for you. They set a good mood. People walk in, they see the pool table, they immediately know. All right, cool. This is a entertainment zone. I can come in, and it's gonna be something for me to do, something recreational for me to do. So it's really important that you set your crib up, atmosphere for comfort. So when you walk in, you have something recreational and you come in. So one of my plays I used to be when like the ladies came over was I was big on the virtual reality. So I just put them in a virtual reality and gave them something to do because a lot of guys, they don't, they always gotta spend money because everything that they do, they gotta spend bread, like taking a girl out on a date, taking her out to eat. But if you can make your house a fun zone, right? You don't have to spend as much money when you can give things that are like, uh, that you can pay for one time and that you can utilize over and over again. So for years, I ran the technology play because nerds are the new cool. It's a lot more attractive to be a smart nigga than it is to be a dumb nigga these days. So it's not just about selling pounds and, and, and uh, trapping and scamming. People respect intelligence. So if you're in a space right now and you're like, damn, it's not as cool to, to read. It's not as cool to, to um, study, right? Um, I'm gonna tell you, that could be further from the truth. You can actually live a way more abundant life, way more pleasant and peaceful life by doing it the harder way. 
The harder way is actually getting your education up, getting your bars up, mastering a skill. And when you do that, then people want to pay you for that skill. So when you're building your brand, you're building your brand, you're building your knowledge, just know that it's eventually going to pay off. So you may not be in a position that you want to be at right now, but your time is coming. You know what I'm saying? Just put the work in, put the work in. Um, get, get a routine. It's one of the most important things. Schedule, routine, whether it's an hour a day studying what's current, you know what I'm saying, what's, what's current, what's happening in the world. Um, uh, also, I would say study financial literacy. That's super important. Learn more about all things that are conclusive with financial de development. If you can learn financial development, that's super important. So the, the surface level of that is just getting your credit together. So if you on stage one, stage one is getting your credit together. Like if you up a little bit more advanced, then you want to start learning about trust and, and setting up um, accounts that can actually protect your business, protect your investments. That way you can put, you know, you can have a holding account. You can set up LLCs in states where you can protect yourself, like Delaware, Wyoming. That's more high level things. Making sure that you have an S Corp instead of just a basic LLC so you can properly write up your taxes. Uh, understanding how to properly manufacture spend where you can build a certain type of cash flow in your bank account that can warrant you getting business funding, getting bread, getting credit lines, etc. So when you get credit lines, people think that credit is only utilized for liabilities like designer clothes and, and drip. But what you use utilize credit for is for good debt. Good debt putting it in a cash flow producing activity. I'm gonna show y'all one of my cash flow producing activities. So right now we're in the pie room, we're in the pie room. I got a video I gotta shoot real quick. Not video, I'm gonna shoot, I actually got a video I'm gonna send. So listen, if you shoot or if you working on your brand and your business, if you do something for two hours a day, if you put, put out content, you shoot at least two hours a day, I guarantee your life will change. I guarantee. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta shoot, send this video out real quick. And I was outside, and this is how important this is. I was outside, and me being outside mm. still didn't stop me from running in the crib real quick to send this video off to my phone. And then we're gonna go to the next location. So one of the websites I use, putting y'all on some quick sauce real quick. So if you like a PC, if you like me, and you like PC, you can't airdrop your content from PC to iPhone. So what I usually do is this website is called uh, snapdrop.net. So with this website, it allows me to airdrop videos directly from my phone, from my computer to my phone, even though my phone is a, uh, an Apple product and this is a PC, I can still airdrop it. So it's pretty hard. Y'all get that one for free. This video I made about uh, Lotto. I made a video about Lotto and I'm about to send it to myself to the MP4 file to just send this video off. Alright, so um so real quick this video is about consistency. Um so I'm out and I'm vibing and uh, it's interesting. I ran into somebody with you know social media and full and social media clout got a couple million followers doing their thing online. And I see, bro, and I'm automatically thinking that he's gonna probably be like arrogant or, uh, I'm thinking bro gonna be arrogant or he gonna have some type of like sup superior complex when he see me, right? Cause I'm knowing that I, you know, do my thing and what I got going on, he do his thing and what he got going on. But when I seen him, it was nothing but love. And it was two lessons that I learned in this uh, in this experience. One was stop putting my own perception on other people thinking they're going to perceive me one way, and it's just my own internal thoughts, right? This person seeing me, it was nothing but love, but I seen them thinking because they were clouded up and they had influence that they were going to look at me as lower than. But it, that was could be further from the truth. So they seen me, it was like, yo, bro, I see what you got going on. I see how consistent you've been. That was the key word. I see how consistent you've been. And uh, I love your podcast, man. I love uh, what you be talking about. And I've been watching you for years. And here's the interesting thing. They haven't liked any of my posts. They haven't liked any of my posts, but it lets me know that they're watching. So the, 
If he's watching it just because he's not liking it, it doesn't mean I need to stop building and stop growing and stop focusing on being better, right? Consistently. So that's just a testament to you, whoever watching this video, is that they watch it. They may not like, they may not come in, but they are watching. So you just gotta keep it going, keep it flowing. So um, we dope, we had a dope conversation, and now we're about to do some business together. Probably gonna end up being on my podcast. We're gonna run the play. And then from there, man, it's just all about just the grind, man. The grind, stay down. You got to stay down, man. A lot of y'all give up too quick. A lot of y'all have a little bit of turmoil, a little bit of resilience, and you give up and you run back and be like, yo, this entrepreneurship thing ain't for me. But the way that you wanna look at this as is you think about it, if you go to school, you go to college, you don't get your degree for four years. You're not complaining about making no money, but when it takes you three to four years to make money as an entrepreneur, you give up. Just look at it as a learning phase. You gotta go to school for four years before you can ever get a degree that will earn you the type of income that you wanna earn in life. So why aren't you looking at it that same way as your entrepreneurship? It's gonna take you a little minute to really get to the bag. It's gonna take you a little minute. But it's gonna take you a little minute. But you just gotta keep it, just keep it, keep it going. So uh, let me see if I can hit it. Uh, you just gotta keep it going because you, you never know who's watching. And then what's bigger than who's watching is you watching yourself. You should only be in competition with yourself. Every day you should just focus on getting 1% better. Every day, right? Get the routine, hit the gym, read a book. So the, the cliche book is Rich Dad, Poor Dad, but the real sauce, the real sauce is the power of the subconscious mind. Whatever you, whatever you think about, whatever you desire, that's what comes to you. You attract what you desire. So if you desire abundance, you desire dope things, all that, all that's gonna come to you. So that's super important uh, in your journey. In your journey is with the information you've been taking. So, uh, man, another thing, when you're outside, you gotta move like people watching to protect yourself. You gotta move like, you wanna protect your image, you wanna protect your, 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 if you walk around with jewelry and stuff like me, you gotta walk around a certain way to protect your, your assets and your belongings in your life. But outside of that, your brand, you wanna protect your image and your brand, so you can't just be outside looking any type of way. Make sure that your, your hair on point, your, um, you got lotion on, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you smell decent, wear, wear cologne. Um, a lot of y'all don't even put on cologne. Y'all stepping out the house just smelling like anything. So you in the elevator smelling like nothing but good gas. That's not a good, that's not, that's not it. You walking around everywhere you go, you think it's Zaz, come on, Zaz, not come on. So, uh, some things you can test, check, check out right now. There's a little cold outside, I'm wearing that oud, I got the oud on me. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fragrance um, from France. So, it's, um, it has a, a good, a good, a good smell to it, you guys should check that out. Um, also, when you, when you, uh, branding wise, fellas, a good thing that took me to the next level is the body butter play. I'm telling y'all, you put the body butter on, I'm telling you, the females gonna go crazy with the body butter. I put the body butter on, put it on my neck, put it on my hands, so then when I'm grabbing them by the neck, I'm grabbing them by the neck, they can smell the body butter on my hand, and like, oh, he clean. You know what I'm saying? I, I make sure I keep the, keep the nails together. You know what I'm saying? Keep the nails together. All that's super important when maintenance in yourself um, as you grow. Like, so you start when you when you take good care of yourself, people want to spend more money with you. You are increasing your value. Nothing's gonna be bigger than your name, your brand. So then, when you want to start a product, you want to sell a product, you want to sell a service or anything. If you have a good brand, it makes it easier to sell. So it always starts with the brand. Nothing's more important than the brand. It's no different between this this cardigan and a, um, you know a cardigan at Walmart. The only real difference is you know, the branding on it. So uh, branding is the most important thing. And I'll tell you what branding is. Branding is, the definition that I like to say branding is, is a gut feeling that people have about you. What's your reputation? So I'm gonna ask y'all, what's your reputation? Write down, write down on a piece of paper. What's your reputation? How do people perceive you? Write down how you wanna be perceived and then write down how do people perceive you? Another thing you should look up is called the Jahari's Window. Look that up on Google. Google it, it's called the Jahari's Window. It breaks down the four pillars of how, how you can be seen, how you see yourself, 
how other people see you, how you want to be seen, and then how you don't want to be seen. It breaks that whole thing down. Check that out. And, uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much, man, the sum of that. Focus on your bread. Build yourself up. People gonna start spending the bread with you. Uh, I'm gonna probably get ready to step out in a minute tonight. It depends on if something pop up. Let me see. But uh, that's pretty much it, man. Build the brand. Nothing's bigger than your name, man. Nothing's bigger than your last name. Selfish niggas. That's the most important. So don't think about just what's happening for you and what's going on right now. Think about your seed, man. Selfish Negroes. Let's get it. It's the coolest. We outside tonight. So, um, we outside, we on our way to go out um, real quick, step out with me and the guys. So, I just want to touch on, um, for the people who talk about they don't like going out, it's important to do it every once in a while. You gotta enjoy life while you um, pursuing happiness, right? So don't get so caught up in your work is that you forget to actually go out enjoy friends enjoy family celebrate your wins and i say the best way to do it to get out and celebrate your wins is when you you would never even desire them right so we're on our way out to celebrate a little bit you know i've got my little red bull giving me some wings real quick riding sliding we're in a right now you know what i'm saying we're gonna catch y'all in the next city we're gonna we're gonna uh be outside in the next city. But yeah, I see y'all in the club, man. We outside tonight. Let's get it. It's the coolest. Youngest ever riding in one of these with the Forgiatos on them. You know what I'm saying? Shit that, shit that these rappers rapping about, I did it off of courses. <laughs> hey, listen, run the play, document the play, and then share the play. These, these shoes, they about 12 pair of horses. Design is on Got it through the courses. You were selling pounds. I was in the fortress. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. All right, I ain't got no more bars. Hey, <laughs> right, listen. There's niggas out here selling pounds, got ops, scamming, finessing, doing all this shit, and I got this off of some real business. I ain't have to do none of that. 
Niggas out here doing all that shit and still ain't got this car. Out here taking federal chairs for some bullshit. I'm out here educating people, actually out here giving real game. Out here actually providing value. And it's, it is ways you can do this too. Just tap in with me. It's the coolest. You ain't gotta do all that bullshit they rapping about. You actually learn the skill, you master that skill, 